Okay. Um, I was on the debate ever since. On the debate of buying this game. On the debate of streaming it. Because. Stream whatever the hell I want to play. And the reviews on this game. Is. Oh! Stay wow, you're here already. Holy shit. Steak, do you just like stalk me? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, it took me a while to buy this game. One, I was waiting for it to go on sale again. Two, the controversy behind it. I'm not going to get into it. I just, the controversy behind it, that's all I'm going to say. Three, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but then it took me, <laughs> so... Here's the thing, I was actually playing it behind the scene, like, off stream. I got to level 11, 15. And I'm like, I finally decided today, fuck it, I'm gonna stream it. My, if my, if someone wants to come in my stream and be political about it, I will fucking block them. My stream is not comp political, I'm gonna play whatever the fuck I wanna play, and yeah. I mean, this game is, seems perfect to freaking stream, so... It's really fun, and I decided to delete hours of progress to stream from scratch. Just to stream this game from scratch. Oh! I didn't know the page was still open, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm back. This is my final decision of the game I'm gonna play. I deleted it so that you and other views stake. We can all just enjoy it together. With no political crap behind it. Without or without discussing that stuff. And I um what also convinced me was looking on Oh, I thought it was gonna be voice acting. Anyways, is looking on Twitch and seeing how thousands of people are streaming it. I'm like, you know what? Okay, fine, I'm gonna stream it. I really wish I could sound like Professor Weasley, but I can't. Oh, and so there's no confusion, no. Well, I, I think even the devs said about this game that this is before the Harry Potter times. Not after, before. When there was a, when Miss Weasley was a professor, or Mrs. Um. And I'm a fifth year, and I think that's like the highest year? I don't know. And if I'm gonna just kinda give you a rundown on what this says. Because of my unique circumstances, I was getting help with spell casting before you even go into the school, and Professor Fig was helping. I'm sorry, this might take me like 20 minutes just to make character. <laughs> okay. I don't know, the skin looks white enough, I guess. <laughs> um, I mean, I do. Is that high cheekbones? Because I know I have that. I don't know, maybe like that? I don't know, I'm just gonna go with this one. Um, hairstyle. <gasps> Ooh, I like that braid. I normally either wear my hair in a ponytail or it's just, it's long and wavy. Not like that. <laughs> but I do like that braid. It's like, pretty much just kind of what my hair looks like, honestly. Except I don't have bangs, but I don't like that. Kind of like more like this. <gasps> okay, I might go with this. I like this look actually. I do actually have freckles. Which I think I can also change. Um, I'm just going to keep that color. It's close enough. Um, 
Okay, it looks like I have freckles. I don't know. Oh, so... Okay. Trying to have freckles here. Or, uh, maybe more like that. I don't. I don't think they're so prominent, though. Right. Well, I don't like to do like nose and stuff like that, though. Ironically, I do have a scar on my forehead. I think it's above. So when I was five or six, I don't know why, but I was stupid enough to stand in front of golf club. And the guy swung and hit me. And so my whole forehead, like from above, like if you run your finger up from your nose, you can feel that I have a scar right there. It's not really that prominent yet. I have to kind of feel it. But the prominent one is kind of like slightly to the left above my left eye. But they don't have a scar for that, so... So yeah, ironically, I do have a scar on my forehead, though. <laughs> but they don't have, yeah, anything like that. Well, I mean, eh, no, probably just have no okay, my complexion. How do I? Guess. Hold on. Whoopsie. Let me go get some help for my complexion. I'll be right back. <coughs> Psst. Help squeakers. Help me choose my complexion. Oh, the little big's a baby boys in here. Huh? Hi, baby. Oh, and, do, and in real life, because it relates to the game, I actually do have a cat. I have two of them. One is a... I was told she's a tabby main... Um, it's a... It starts with a C. I can't say it on stream because it's a... What's that word called? <laughs> Prerogatory like word against a certain race. But it's a main, and then the word, other word that starts with C. And then another cat, and he's a... Damn it. He's a black cat. Bombay. That's the, that's the breed that my other cat is. The tabby mix. She's a little devil, even though we got her as a kitten. She just... Um... Has high and mighty and stuff. Yeah, it's cute, though. She, like, she... She thinks of herself as the little queen of the house, which she is, of course. But I love her to death, so. Ah! Oh, crap, that's my hair color. Damn it! I okay, good. That's creepy how it's kind of... I have do have bags, but damn. That kind of... What? I don't know, maybe I should just do... 50-ish? Yeah, I think I'll do that. My eye color is blue. Why did my... Oh, okay. Is this like darker? Oh, yeah. Demon eyes. Just kidding. Just kidding. For those with dark eyes, you do not look like demons. I'm trying to find a dark blue for fuck's sake. Where the hell? No. <gasps> My eyes are kind of close to that. They're like. I think they're dark, but they're not as bright. Ooh, purple. That's pretty, but no. <laughs> Green. 
don't... No, I think my answer's done. Huh? Oh, sorry. Okay, she's finally here to give me my clear complexion. Okay, I'm gonna start from the beginning. It's my complexion. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Da 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 da! <clears throat> I don't know what that may. Okay. First one? Yes or no? Oops. There? Well, that was fast. Okay. Would you. Um. These eye pr colors are so pretty. I never see them in real life. <gasps> Ooh! Is that kind of close to my eye color? No, that's kind of more purple, huh? Yeah. Damn. I know. Not. Th they're not that light. Oh, that's gray. I'm just gonna pick my favorite blue color, I guess. Cause I don't really have my eye color. Damn it. Oh. I do have to click on it. That's pretty. Kind of bright. I might just do that one though, honestly. Or. Yeah, I like that one instead. And yes, my eyebrows actually do match my hair color too. Oh, and my eyelashes too in high school one time. This. I think it was a girl, she asked me, are your eyelashes blonde too? And she was literally up in my face trying to look at my eyelashes. But obviously they darken if I don't... They darken because of all the dust and stuff that collects on them. And yeah. <laughs> it was weird though, it's a very weird experience. I can't even... Okay, oh. No. Yeah, I guess. Shape, I'm not really concerned about. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I kind of like this one. I am like indeed a one. student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. Yeah, I guess I'll choose this one. I like story mode. Um, you must. You must. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, uh oh yeah <laughs> I'm like it's like the hardest decision I swear to um have a n to make up a name but like but I'm like eh, I might as well just use my um stream name I cannot think I swear Summer journey. <laughs> Sucks I can't choose what to wear, but okay. Oh, and this finally came out on uh, ah, Switch. It appears we are almost ready to Sorry, depart. Voice acting. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. But I'm so glad I got an Xbox because I knew it was going to look a lot better <laughs> on Xbox. George. And it came out way sooner Bad than my Switch. Rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more and probably runs better on Xbox too. This. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> oh, and when it's I first played this game, 
when I received I had no idea what to expect because I, I refused to watch gameplay of it. I only watched the trailers. I know that. Of course. Why don't we speak this is a great game, hearts. though. We have a start of term feast and a sort of. I really mind trying over. To. It's fun. Wonderful fine. idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages Damn it! Are my eyes more like a turquoise? No, oh, whatever. Be good to see the old I think I can change it later. Oh, I'm thinking of getting that dark arts pack though too. Damn it! <laughs> That's why I should have gone right now. Cause I get one of those dead dragon horse things as a mount and I'm like, yes. So I don't know if that means it replaces your broom. And spoiler alert. Yeah, you do fly on a broom. Eventually. It takes a while. Maybe it only took me a while because it, like. Because I wasn't playing t for too long at a time. I don't know. I'm gonna defeat this head. Probably gonna play this for another four hours. Straight. Or I might. I might have lunch on a couple hours. Not sure yet. Just barely. <laughs> And who is your traveling companion? This where it gets really interesting. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? Dun, dun, dun. Goblin. Goblin differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Oh, Ranrock I've turns yet to into my colleagues at the time. ministry. <gasps> oh, I shit. believe he is a significant threat, and it was your. I'm gonna wife, have to adjust it because for some reason. Who alerted me to his activities months ago? Miriam. How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. Thank you it for joining, Steve. It was the Steak. last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That's and thank you for joining. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you? Wait. We did. <laughs> Saw death. So now I see the horses. The dragon horses. I guess they're kind of dragon. More dragon line, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon line is so. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have just the brightness. an amazing intro. Are you all right? 
right. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who Honestly, created this it's more... key. Or why. It's more how the game runs, though, for me, than how it looks. I don't... I'm not sure how it runs on Switch, though. So I'm just doing option stuff. Um, but... I don't know, I think I heard good things about it. Yeah, I want performance mode on performance, all this off. I'm trying to not destroy my switch uh, my uh, Xbox here. Oh, whoops. Ah. Um. Oh, this looks good. Oh, interesting. Ah! Oh my god. Nope, I am used to right handed. <laughs> I'm left handed, but. I'm used to right handed stuff. That's cool that they have that though. I do what? I have no idea what, what that means, but I'm not going to change it. <sighs> um. Good. Let's save it for now. Ahu wahi yahu! Holy crap! It's taking forever. <laughs> oh wait! Oh, it's done. I thought the little spinning thing meant it was saving. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. I didn't even know left-handed control systems were a thing. How far did that porky take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think- The porky was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Or, you know, the only path on this rock. Mind your step. 
Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Oh, I'm like, what the? <laughs> I like, just jumped down, like, off the cliff. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, Come on, Professor. why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Exactly. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh. 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 Excellent! than I'd expected. Not at first, but okay. I'm following you. We're close <laughs> now. It's just ahead. Those points. I thought something was gonna be in it. Steady yourself. Oh yeah, there's so many cutscenes in this. I love that. Let us hear for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. I just want to turn down the music a little bit. Enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How 
odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. <laughs> name Godric's heart where are we I don't believe it <coughs> yeah. hello I know I'm coughing A moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, we're having here. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Dun, dun, Stay close. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> so amazing. How many vaults are there in Green Vaults? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to Vault Number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the Damn. deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. I don't want to cough in the mic. I don't know why I'm coughing. Professor, hmm? the armband the guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I know who he's going to go get, though, too. Here we are.
No, snitch. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Hundreds of years? Damn. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. Uh, best Professor, of luck. That was certainly unexpected. Mm. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door? Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Uh, okay. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way <clears throat> out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Because, of course, you know, we're still in Green Gods, I guess. <clears throat> I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revenia. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Charms. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh boy. Here we go. First fight of the game. Look out! Potato. At you! Let me 
right? Okay. Stay close. I don't know how close I can be. <clears throat> but great. Lumos. Professor? Professor Fig? Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Protego! Lumos! Oh, whoops. Revelio! I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos! Oh. I need to align these statues with their reflections. Mm. I know that. Damn it. Oh, there we go. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Let's continue. <clears throat> okay. Oh. 
big? Oh, okay, it's just you. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Looks like he's the creator. All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Jeez. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Mm. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, <laughs> I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I hate being late. It's so awkward. Everyone's staring at you. <clears throat> at least late to work or something. Or late to some event. Because then you're the center of attention. Phineas. Nigellus. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig. Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were... complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Gladly. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? <laughs> you come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward There's... to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... 
Mm, what is it? <laughs> desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Yep, precisely. Better be Hufflepuff! I'm clapping. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. Now. Here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. Interesting. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Oh yeah, and there's a professor that I love that they brought in here. Cause she's not really, she's a goddess, but she's not seem to be really that widely known, it seems. So when they brought her in here, I was like, I was amazed and so grateful. Like, thank you. You'll see. She's also one of my favorite goddesses. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Of Better head to the Greek lore. I think she's actually known for mo in multiple lores. Mm. 
Oh yeah, it looks like Greek. Yeah, she's a Greek goddess. Nom nom noms. <laughs> Just gonna what the? That's cool. Levitating candy, I guess. Just gonna look around here. Wait, can I? No. Change my look now? No. <laughs> I thought I could. Being in my dorm and everything. Oh, can I not yet, I guess. Oh, because I'm not in my common room. Duh. I think. So pretty. So naturistic. Love it. Like, why am I walking when I can run? Can't imagine starting this late. You could ask <laughs> me, you know. Introductions are in order. Oh, I'm gonna talk to one with your owl first. Pretty oh, hello. snow owl, maybe? She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. <coughs> Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly out of place. Jeez, Lenora. Of course. What a great welcome. Presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. Presumably. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenore Everly. And a narcissistic well, attitude as well, You've Lenora. Such a lot to do. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Jeez. Oh, it was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Adieu. I oh, don't know. <laughs> Eat some of this. Um, num, num. I wish I could talk to the ghost. Like, hello, I want to talk to you. I can see you. Play with that for no reason. Ooh. Damn, I wish I had some of that in real life. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I did have some cake yesterday. It was so good. So am I not going to talk to them? Mm. Oh dear. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Adelaide. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Uh, that one is not? true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Her <laughs> freaking cloak Thank is you, glitching Adelaide. in the back. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Arthur's got you. It's all right. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. It's not frightened. They love cats. Love uh, heights. 
Come on, he went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Get one while you're at Hogwarts. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about Very coming incredible. to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowdruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> Aww. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Yes, puppy. Jeez. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. So are you hot back on your hand? Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Give me one second. Fruit salad? Yay! Sorry. My partner's guy just makes a delicious fruit salad. Puts in all sorts of fruit, whatever we have, and puts some yogurt in it. It's really good. Oh, okay. It's really good. Sorry, I was just reading something. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Do keep Ah, crap. Oh, whatever. I'll explore later. When I can. Oh, 
Try not to go too fast with the spinning, because it will even Simply trigger my motion sickness. Rumor 2 contains some of the Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Students is, um, some dishes like pickled dirigible plums are likely an acquired taste. You, I just uh, sweet. <gasps> no. What? Oh wow. Okay. Oh now it my may be able to change my look. Just tears. I have spectacles. I've collected spectacles. Clever. Does this not does none of this help me with my defense? Oh, I equip. If it has no magical properties, there's no reason to wear it in my opinion. I don't wear stuff that will help me. Ah, whoops. I look weird like this. Put it back on. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> no. And... No. Okay. your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle so I can't change my look at least not yet oh well let's continue timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field flame. guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Find Central Hall. Okay. 
And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly yeah. to Central Hall. I can never get You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Can you tell me yes. more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Which is ironic, because I'll read to you about her lore right now. Uh, let me... She is the goddess of magic, witchcraft, the night, moon, ghost, and necromancy. So it's ironic that they put her in the dark arts. I love it. I love it so much. And then the charmed class. What I learn in charms class? Exactly what Sorry, I love their expect. accent. I'm not making fun Spells, of it. I actually charms, love it. jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. <laughs> you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. 
Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Don't know Accio yet, so... Can't... I thought this was one I could activate or... So I guess not gonna let me. Whatever. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about... exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. <laughs> yum yum, I have a snackies. They spelt the name different, but it could be for copyright reasons, not sure. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. something out. I'll have to visit hairdresser. Okay. Hairdresser. I have to visit hairdresser to change my look. Oh. There we go.
I downloaded Accio so I can get the pages already for my thing, book thing. I didn't mean to turn it down. <laughs> I was meant to um, put the microphone away from my face when I chew. There's an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold so with the passion to... and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns uh. summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. <clears throat> oh, it's Akio, okay. Akio! I was kind of not paying fully attention. <laughs> that is not Sweet. bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I loved it when my teacher would take us outside. It's nice to get out instead of being in a stuffy old classroom, you know? I've always Tracking found that fun goes great. hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst huh? us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? 
Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more. Very good. Uh, nice. 40. My first try. Oh. That's Damn, way it. too early. Splendid! Oh, that was just practice. <laughs> Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Am I going first? Oh. Holy crap. Phew. I won. The first time I played, I didn't win. <laughs> Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll huh? say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. A tight game. It turns out we were evenly matched. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. 
It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Sorry, I was doing. So my opinions on the wand is it helps control your magic better in a sense of better kind of direction, I suppose. Maybe even more stability. That's just my opinion. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, wow, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. A word of dwell. If you would. You'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. Okay. That's weird. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? <laughs> Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? And what exactly. a close match between you and Miss Onai. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now... Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. And Explore the room, see if there's anything to get from it. Or not. <clears throat> cool. Like a chest or something to collect stuff from. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. That's a video. Cool. Oh, oh well. Guess there isn't. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. 
My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> Revelio. Or... Lumos. Oh. Hmm. Oh. The chest right above me. Oh, uh, we will. What about what? Oh. Map. <laughs> um. I go down. Yep. Okay. Looking for those pages though too. Revelia. Flu flame. What are you up to now? What? Hmm. Okay. Just go to the class. I went down. Yeah, okay. Revenia. No, nothing cool. Still nothing. So cute that you can pet the kitties. Ah, oh, there we go. An Irish Phoenix or Augury? can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine. It's a giant mansion. Is that all you've got? Let me also! Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. 
the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Now, let's try something a little larger. Begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise. Good. Now, well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. This is good form. I know. What be your first duel? What's the same? Only all of my students were this adept. Levioso. I do enjoy a life in duels. Watch your opponent for signs to attack or defend yourself. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. 
You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Okay. <laughs> Call this. Okay. Mm. That's what I was waiting for. Ages too. Revelio. Petey has a brand new game. Just beware the open flame. <laughs> Okay then. Awful when they ask you a question now, isn't it? Crummy little faces. I'll just die. <laughs> if someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. Jeez. Revenia. In trouble, are we? Beat up to no good. Thought as much. Bit of snot on your nose. I don't want to do that. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we're just going to go to Hogsmeade. I'm saving up for a new broom. Aha! So cool. Possibly be as difficult as it seems. When she was in school. I'm sure she could be full of it. Oh, okay then. What the? Cool. Ooh, I got a midnight debonair ensemble. Also, why it's good to look around. Revelio. Yay. 
rebellion. Every time she pretends not to see me. Rebellion. I'm just wandering around. Rebellion. <laughs> try and collect information on stuff. Get XP. Oh, that goes outside. Locked. Protego! Lumos. Slytherin almost always. Pavelio. spell to get past that. What is this? That was interesting. My family and I. Okay.
Yep, I have no idea how to work that. Now, was it two pinches of Angelica or three? Rebellion. Absolutely nothing. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelia. I guess we'll just go to husband with <laughs> Professor Weasley. There's something in there. I just know it. My parents visited the pool. Revelio. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. 
Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. <coughs> Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. <coughs> She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. There you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few <laughs> preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. She's got it. <laughs> mm, Oculus Reparo. Yep. One page must be around to repair here somewhere. glasses, I think. Eyeglasses. Ah. Oh, there it is. Brilliant. Hey, Steak, how's it going? Welcome back. I, I trust the preliminary so <laughs> I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Reparo! Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Exactly. That's how I see it as. This guy's looking at me like you're stupid. That's it! Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Revenia. Aww. 
150 XP. Uh, where am I going now? What am I doing? I'm gonna duel first. <gasps> Why? Why did you stay up all night? You should definitely get some sleep. You know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. A grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Oh, rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones.
already at my destination. Revelia. You do feel tired enough to sleep. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. It took me here for some reason. one of Zenobia's cobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Damn. Oh, it's gonna take me there. <laughs> You're welcome, no problem, Steak. Your pleasant dreams as well. Revelio. What? Oh. Damn it, still not. Uh, wait. Revelio. Oh. Lumos. Protego. Lumos. Ah. Uh.
better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. What the freak? That was creepy. Revelio. Am I going higher? Jeez. How would someone go through all this trouble just because they got a foul smelling odor on them? Because they lost. Freaking game. Revenia. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. goggles <laughs> oh jeez Jeez, I look weird. Oh well. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelia. Stupid, but oh well.
As long as I have defense on me. <laughs> Some sort of defense. Points. <laughs> I mean. What? Oh. What? Oh. an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Found one. Creepy. Maybe she did see me coming. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Damn it. Revelia. Oh, there it is. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Okay. You've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I've found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which. 
Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Oh, I got a pretty wand. And a good amount of XP. But what survives the reign of this headmaster? I think we should have a moon calf in charge. That human's now a teacher herself. It's a wonder she's not gobbled up by her. Um ah. <laughs> Oh, of course, behind that door. And I have no idea how to play this. There it is. Rebellion. Jeez, I knew that was there. <clears throat> if only black. Ugh, what am I missing? Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. I'm just like this to have some defense. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. <laughs> If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do you come and find me if you stumble on something. In that spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Where is she? <laughs> Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. 
You have a knack <clears throat> for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad <laughs> someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! <laughs> Oh wait, the side qu oh yeah, huh. <laughs> side quests I still have to do. Well, I'll have to if I want to. Actually, yeah, I'll do this. <laughs> Looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Okay, I'm gonna pop in for some, pop out for some lunch, and I might be back with some more Hogwarts or Halo. I'm probably gonna I'm thinking about doing a um, what's it called? A random wheel generator to help me decide. Anyways, bye and see you later, hopefully. And um, I'm gonna and next week 
probably going to be able to stream Monday, Tuesday because I'm supposed to be off. And maybe even Thanksgiving as well. See you later.